biggest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here in KC as their beloved Chiefs took the field, and they are set to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Second down, back to Edwards-Alaire. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's the Chiefs punter now. DeAndre Carter back deep. Uses the stiff arm. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. L.A. readies for its next possession. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Herbert. His throw complete right side to the tight end Parham. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. On first down, it's Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. Touchdown, Chargers! Keenan Allen, 53 yards. And the Chargers are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at <laughs> all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football, all right? When you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Give 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. McCole Hardman to return it from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive, and on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. From the 27, Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it <laughs> would have been, been a, different a long story. night. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. To throw on second and six, Mahomes. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Attack, attack. Come back. Now Mahomes. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. From the 50, here's Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. But he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll come up now on second and a yard. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Going on the ground with Eckler. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. 
found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, Eckler. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Looking middle and that's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Running on first down, Eckler. And they'll get this down to the 10. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. And the ball smack dab on the 5-yard line. Here's second and goal. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. Now Herbert, third and goal. Touchdown! That's caught. Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now 14 to nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. The drive will begin with a run by Edwards Hilaire. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. To throw, it's Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that's going to be incomplete. 
Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Slant pass to Edwards alone. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Edwards Hilaire as they run out of the gun. And he's going to have a first down on a gain of about 10, and that'll take us to the two-minute warning. First down, Mahomes hitting Juju on the slant. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez Scantling there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you. Looks like their memory was a little too long there. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. On first down, Justin Herbert. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and 10. Herbert now. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The uh, Chargers going to signal for the first of their Let's timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and 10, Herbert. That would tipped, and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively. That's second down. 
So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that in just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Second and 10, here's Herbert once more. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs. In this case, the feet did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Well, that's third down 101. You got to go to the marker, know where it is. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Mahomes now on first down. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Three yards remain for second down. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Here's Mahomes to throw. This one complete to Nico Hardman. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. now on first down and the Chargers rush is gonna get there down he goes that's sacked by Khalil Mack So we have reached halftime. Intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. This fielded right at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half 
They didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here's second and five now from the 22. Now it's Herbert. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Wide open. It's Allen complete. And he'll be out right at the 35. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Throw over the middle into the hands of the tight end, Parham. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Herbert. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big game that time for the Chargers. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. They expect to connect on more before this one's over. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Eckler going to get it again on second down. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. A giant hole up the middle, and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Back to throw here, Herbert. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Here's Herbert. Toward the pylon, caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett from eight yards out. And the Chargers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. 
circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. And he's gonna lose yardage here, back to his own 18. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now, Mahomes. He's gonna find his tight end Gray complete. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Edwards Alaire on the counter. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. And behind the chain, second and 13. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Oh, a strip. The ball comes out. And picked up by the Chargers. And now the rookie's three. And they are going to score on a fumble return. Touchdown, L.A. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one. And it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. Okay. Oh, 
So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the 17, Mahomes finding Edwards Alaire once again. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing now is Mahomes. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. After the sack on first down, Mahomes. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That to his running back, Edwards Alaire. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Mahomes in the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Now Mahomes got to have this one. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Let's go, let's go. On first down, Mahomes. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes to the right side. It's Kelsey. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You got a tight end who can move around a lot, not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've taken him out of the game. That was just his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside. The and that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Clyde Edwards-Alaire. 
there to make the grab. And the Chiefs have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Once more, here's Eckler. Now room for Eckler. And some room to run now. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. tired bodies on that field but this is a big play third and goal Herbert to a knee and that should just about write it into this one yeah it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd but when you go on the road that band of brothers attitude right just us against the world and get it done <laughs> how happy are they I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me you get a win on the road doesn't matter the opponent get out of there like you stole something and they, <laughs> they did in this one and the kick is good so you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet but until then this game's over so this one's over it's in the win column for the LA Chargers and maybe more importantly a victory in the division which always helps and on the road how about all of that rolled up into one? Because how often do you see division games get decided by this much of a margin? Yeah, Most they time thumped in, them. Yeah, they jumped all over them. And a division game is usually a touchdown or less because these two teams know each other better than most teams in the league. In this case, that didn't hold up. On the road, big margin, big victory. Oh, yeah, that flight home will be good.